stress comes in. The back of your car has to be on this line. Not all of Landry's classwork is stressful. So if you hold it just right there for your partner. In fact, much of the hands-on, project-based learning here is downright fun. Okay. <laughs> To engage their students at the end of the year, the eighth grade teachers came up with a project focusing on cars. In science class, students made balloon-propelled cars out of recycled materials and road-tested their various designs. Oh, it's curved! Look at this! Like most Landry projects, the car unit was featured across the eighth grade curriculum. Try to write some different selling points. In language arts, students wrote car commercials. And in math, they calculated loan payments. A 6% of, of whatever you get for four. item number 7. So multiply 6% times that. Okay. They also used the web to plan trips and find information on fuel economy and environmental impacts. Not only is the vehicle going to save the earth, it also comes with most standard features that all consumers really, really like. And they evaluated pitches from local car salesmen. Here you can see this truck at least it's, it's fully equipped. It has cruise control, the tilt steering wheel, it has power windows and power door locks and power mirrors. How much does it take to fill up the tank? How much it costs? And that's going to be close to $40 for, you know, an empty tank. In the math thing, they were very much into it. We talked the eighth grade ranges, teachers you know, coordinate their efforts and evaluate the progress of projects during their daily 45-minute shared time. And we had little scenarios where they reached in the bag and pulled up whether they're single or whether they have three kids. So when they went to pick the cars, it was like, you know, I want this car that's 147000 but my income on my profile card said all I'm making is $48,000, but I have to take care of three kids. Three kids. You know, For these so teachers, the benefits of team teaching extend beyond curriculum development. One of the things that the kids see is they see that we work as a team. Plus, that's also the way the business world is run in teams. So what we expect them to be able to do as young adults, that is what we practice here so they can see the, the real-world connection. The down payment you gave was a thousand, so the more or less was you had forty-eight. So this is how much you wanted to pay. Well, At Landry, money. students practice teamwork too. Are you, are you lost? Are you getting it? Oh, I got you. You got me. So what happens is you have to pay the bank back. Students of varying abilities are grouped in teams of four, which often include older students needing extra help. We don't really work by ourselves because we sit in groups, and if we have a question, well, if we don't know it, then we ask it, like our peers and our pupils, and if they don't know it, then we ask the teacher because it's really like a community. We say we're one big family, and we are the Landry family, and we help each other out. I've had kids come back to me and tell me, do you remember that project we did? They have never, ever come back and said, do you remember that test we did? So I think that's the impact. If the kids remember it, test scores will go up. And our test scores have. You do two and two? Because uh, no, no, the Y. I'm doing rise over one. Volunteer mentors from local industry are also part of the Landry family. We come here once a week and uh, we get the satisfaction of uh, working with excellent students and um, seeing, the, seeing the future. And when new technology is thrown into the mix, learning is a blast. Out, go back, same way, in and out, in and out. We're doing a study of motion and graphing. We're letting the, the students see that as they walk, this motion detector here graphs their path, and we're going to show them that their walk can be interpreted into math.